Hello, this is Carrie from Cookbook Divas, and I'm delighted to be looking through Mamushka, the cookbook by Olia Hercules. It's recipes from Ukraine and Eastern Europe. And I have to point out how gorgeous the cover is. Look at this. It's gilt, beautiful. It's a library book, so it's getting a little worn, but that shows you how good it is. It's well loved. Oh, I'm sorry. Recipes from Ukraine and Eastern Europe specifically. What year did this come out? 2016. Look at this beautiful book plate. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. Weldon Owen is the publisher. Here's the author and I assume her friends. Ooh, colorful table of contents. Let's check it out. Uh, introduction, broths and soups, breads and pastries, vegetables and salads, dumplings and noodles, meat and fish, fermented pickles and preserves. It's September, so this is a good time to be thinking about that. Sweet conserves, desserts, and a finishing up with drinks. So here's the introduction, which I'll read later off camera. More info. And we jump right into the first chapter, which is written first in Russian, then in English. Broths and soups. And I am so ready to start making soup. Oh, it's finally not hot in my kitchen, so I can turn the oven and the stove on. Ukrainian beet broth. Mmm. Could I make it without beef stuff in it. Here's something I would have never thought of making, sorrel broth. I don't think I have sorrel growing in my garden right now. Gherkin beef and barley broth. I'm loving this food photography. Cold beet soup. I knew there would be a recipe in this book for cold beet soup. Of course. How about mushroom broth with buckwheat? Okay, I need to stop showing you every single photo because that's not fair, but look at chicken broth with dumplings. Okay, gotta keep going. Ooh, pretty picture in the middle. I'm skipping ahead, skipping ahead. Campfire mutton broth. Some children actually cooking over the fire, which my boyfriend and I might be doing this weekend because we have a windstorm coming. There might be power outages, so we have a tripod we can cook on if it's not completely raining into the tripod. <laughs> Azerbaijani chickpea and mutton soup. I got to jump ahead. Armenian soup. Armenian cold yogurt soup. SARS surf and turf. That was hard to say. Okay, breads and pastries chapter. Ooh, I'm looking forward to this one. <gasps> okay, this will be the first thing I make out of this cookbook if I actually stop being lazy and bake something this weekend, if I have power. Ukrainian garlic bread. How good does that look? Mm. And I have garlic in our house right now. Greek breads with green onions. Oh, Greek? I didn't know this is the region we were gonna, hmm, okay. Moldovan breads with cheese, Moldovan lazy flatbreads, but tiny picture. Makes up for it, big picture. Yum. Moldovan giant cheese twist. Ukrainian stuffed buns. That must be what that is. So they show the picture first and then the recipe after. Okay. So this one is tartar lamb turnovers. And someone left a receipt in the cookbook. There we go. Caucasian barbecue flatbreads. And now we're in the vegetables and salads chapter. I really can't show you at this many pictures from every chapter or we'll be here all day and I'll be violating copyright. Grilled vegetable, quote unquote, caviar. Beet and prune salad. I'm hungry for beets now. Georgian kidney bean salad. There's the answer to what we do with all of those cans of kidney beans that we hoarded during the start of the pandemic. Put them in the salad, yum. Armenian beans with tomato dressing. Griddled eggplant rolls, um, Armenian roasted vegetables, mmm, yum. Here's a beet and gherkin salad. These are all so colorful. I had a completely beige and yellow breakfast this morning. Eggs, bananas, hash browns, toast. Potato cakes with goat cheese. Stuffed cabbage leaves, not my favorite. Beautiful, I don't know what this is. Looks good, doesn't say. Here's a recipe for Korean carrots. I'm not sure what that has to do with Eastern Europe, but okay. Cabbage slaw, zucchini, and potato stew. Okay, let's get into the dumplings and noodles chapter. Now, is it going to be piroshki or pierogi? Here's pork ribs and dumplings. Nothing like dumplings on a rainy day. This is Soviet goose noodles. Wow. And this is stuffed Ukrainian pasta. So I have to turn past the picture to find out what it is. That's kind of weird, but looks good. And how about Ukrainian noki? Central Asian chicken and pasta. Moldovan polenta. Wow, I didn't expect to see that in here. 
Now we're in the meat and fish chapter, which I'm going to go through very briefly because I'm vegetarian. Azerbaijani rice and fruity lamb. I bet that looks good to you guys. Mutton in cilantro. Wow. How about chicken liver, buckwheat, and crispy shallots? I'm sure chicken liver is not everybody's favorite. Here's a garlicky Georgian poussins, poussins? chicken. Georgian plum chutney. Kefir and herb barbecued chicken. Garlicky white rabbit. Hard to make that look appetizing in a photo. They did a good job. Barbecue catfish. Cured mackerel. Now we're in the fermented pickles and preserves chapter already. I kind of wish this cookbook was longer because it's cool. Sour cabbage. Sour eggplants. Wow, that looks gross, but I would totally eat that. I never thought of that. Armenian pickled green garlic. Armenian pickles, etc. We know what pickles look like. I'll keep going. Plum raisin and rum conserve. Watermelon skin jam. Good way to stop food waste. Raspberry conserve. Baked quince. What else is in here? Let's get out of this chapter. Now we're in desserts. I know you've been waiting for it. Berlin curd cheese cookies. Yogurt drop scones. That looks like pancakes. What's going on? Uh, Ukrainian biscotti. I'm not sure which picture is for which thing. Sorry, it's very confusing. Okay. Wasp nest buns. That's definitely a picture of that. <laughs> that looks good. Baked Ukrainian cheesecake. Ooh. Doesn't look very sugary like American would be. Apple sponge and a honey cake with nuts. A poppy seed roll. Shall we get... Oh, this is beautiful. Ukrainian fried pastries with black cardamom. Mmm. And then there's going to be a drink chapter, summer fruit punch, winter punch, black currant vodka. Hello, you had me at vodka. I also love black currants. Black currant micronutrients. Woo! Okay. So that was Mamushka, the cookbook by Olia Hercules from Weldon Owen. Love it. That is fabulous. I'm so glad I checked this out from the library. So many things I want to make that aren't in the meat chapter. Thanks for watching our cookbook review. You can see more of them here on YouTube. Cookbook Divas also has a blog and a podcast, and you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Please be sure to click like and comment if you see something that you like, because that way the, the social media algorithms will show you even more of our posts. Bye!